Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisperer of the Day. It is Friday, TGIF, October 28th, and we are going to begin by mapping out the SPY. Well, we didn't get any new levels on the SPY yesterday, nothing really heavy, but we are going to continue to watch that massive print from the day before, right? That 14 and a half million level right here 384.83 if we close above that then we're going to turn bullish so today for the day trade though we're going to be bullish above 379.50 but be careful of a sticky situation yeah this peanut butter and jelly will move up and down with the price wherever it is is going to be resistance okay so just be careful of that because it's kind of in the way uh, bear below 375.50 we are currently uh, in between the four and the eight ema stuck between a rock and a hard place right here so if we do break above really this 380 yeah there's movement or below the eight ema down to the 15 EMA, see that's my big targets. And the 30 simple moving average, possibly 20 all the way down there on the downside. So getting ready for both moves today. Let's go to the IWM or maybe we'll have no move today. IWM, we're gonna be bullish above 180. It's in a much better situation, it's not stuck. Um, or if it does go below 177.80, we could retrace to the 8 EMA. And last, definitely the weakest, is the QQQ. You can see the Qs are already below. Yeah, all that stuff. So we're going to be bullish above 272.50, bear below 268.50 for the QQQs. Let's check out the futures. We had another whale yesterday. I posted that in all the rooms. Um, 38.20. So I went above that today, bullish above 38.25, and then bear below 37.80 for the E minis. NASDAQ futures bullish above 11,300, bear below 11,025. Crude oil up next. Light sweet crude oil, that is. Uh, hit person's pivot twice this morning. And you can see that large amount of volume that came in the first time. That's why I'm bullish above it. 89.05, bear below 87.25. I went all the way down here, just really didn't like the in-between trade. Gold taking a hit this morning, testing our bear below level right now. Bullish above 16.55 for gold futures. Uh, we have Bitcoin still above 20,000, trying to hold on. Bullish above 21,250, bear below 19,500. I didn't like the levels. I just didn't like the chart on this today. So I went really far and wide. If it does go, it has to have a very big move. All right, sometimes I'll do that. I just don't like it. So here goes to Amazon. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. It went all the way down to the weekly trend line. Check this out. Yeah, this happens all the time. See this weekly trend line? That's why it went really fast because all the algos pulled away when the earnings reported. And just the one strong algo that trades on the trend line stayed. That's why they took it all the way down to him or her or whatever. Uh, yeah, we're going to be bullish today above 100 bear below 96 for amazon okay let's go to apple apple really didn't make much of a move how many of you are surprised by that i am no i'm definitely but we'll trade it today bullish above 148 bear below 142.80 the only people that are not surprised on that apple is the the people that did the selling of the iron condors right we talked about that yesterday. Intel, bullish above 28.20, bear below 26.40. It's stuck right here on a pivot. That's why I went up to the 20 level. Okay, we have Meta. 
Oh, Meta. Big print yesterday, three million. I don't know, are they buying? Are they selling? We'll find out soon, give it a couple of days, but today for the day trade, 100 is a big level, bullish above it. Bear below 96. Let's check out Google, bullish above 93.50 today. Bear below $90.80. Let's check out Baba. I know we had big prints on FXI, just couldn't find a great day trading level. But Baba, yeah, bullish above 64.50, bear below 63 for a retrace to the dark pool, massive 8 million print. If we close below 61.90, that's going to be very bearish in the big picture. ExxonMobil had earnings. Bullish above 110.50, bear below 109.50, and that trade is live right now. It's a retrace the person's pivot. Chevron also had earnings bullish above 182, bear below 180. Tesla bullish above 228.50, bear below 220. In the swing picture, I'm looking for a strong close above 230 to swing Tesla long. So it hasn't been able to do that yet, but let's see if it does. All right, there you have it. Those are your whispers for Friday, October 28th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. Nothing in, that's my secret.